Hello everyone, today I'm going to give you a showcase of the EasyQuest configuration which you can purchase on Built by Bit or Polymart. So to show you this, I'm going to use the test server which you can start from Built by Bit. And before purchasing, I definitely recommend you use the test server just so you can get the feel of the config for yourself. But this overview video should give you a general idea of it. So when you're in the test server, you can just come up to the Quest NPC here and right click it to open the menu. Or players can use slash quests and you can open the menu from here. So at the bottom is the quest profile. You can see how many quests you've started and how many you've actually completed. There's a thousand or two quests as of me recording this video. However, in the future, there may be more that have released. And there are 12 different categories, building, crafting, mining, digging, farming, woodcutting, hunter, fishing, brewing, explorer, enchanting, and smelting. Some categories have more quests in them than others. So building has 144, fishing has 24, and enchanting has 36. So they're all different amounts in them. Of course, when you're watching this video, this may have changed. There may be more in each category. So when you click on a category, you can see all the quests here. Most of them have different parts to them. So for example, the Oak Planks building quest have four parts and you have to complete one part before to actually unlock the quest. And you could navigate through the pages here to navigate through each different quest. So if I go into a different category here, like digging, you could see that's also similar here. You've got loads of different blocks that you could mine. You've got mining as well, which is more ore based. You can use the plugin to set up how many quests someone can have running at the same time. So if I click on this quest to start it, you'll see it comes up and says quest started. You can give ranks on your server a maximum amount of quests they can have running at one time to give perks to people who support your server. So if I wanted to start another quest, I could also click on coal ore here to start the coal smelting quest. And there you go, I've just started that one. So that's a very brief overview of the easy quest config. As I said before, make sure to join the test server so you can test this fully for yourself. If you have any questions, make sure to join the Discord server linked down below. You can use the Purchase Questions channel to do that. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.